readers, let's get ready to read. Turn on your listening ears. It's as easy as one, two, three. Welcome to the book bus. Each time we get together, we will be learning a new letter, name, and its sound. Then we will read a fantastic book. Today we are going to talk about the letter G. The letter G makes the G sound. Everyone say G, G, G. Excellent job making the G sound. Can you think of a word that begins with the G sound? Did you think go? Go begins with the G, G, G sound made by the letter G. Everyone say G, G, go. Now everyone say G, G, G. Great job saying the G sound. Now we're going to look at today's book. The title is I Read Signs. The author is Tana Hoven and guess what? There is no illustrator for this book. Let's take a closer look at the cover and see if we can figure out why. What do you notice about this picture? Does it look real or does it look like an illustration? which means a picture that a person or illustrator drew. I agree with you, the picture is real. The reason there is not an illustrator for this book is because the pictures in this book are real. They are called photographs. Photographs are pictures that are taken with a camera. Have you ever taken a picture before? If you said yes, that means you were a photographer. A photographer is a person who uses a camera to take photographs which are pictures. Before we read the book, I Read Signs, let's predict what this book is about. What do you think it's about? Yes, it may be about children running. That is an excellent prediction. On the cover, I see a photograph of a sign. Have you ever seen this sign before? There is a sign like this in my neighborhood. Do you know what it is telling us? You are correct again. Yes, it is telling us this area is a playground. Since there is a photograph of a sign on the cover and the title of the book is I Read Signs, I'm predicting this book is going to teach us about signs. Let's begin reading and find out. Everywhere you look, there are signs. Parents and Guardians. Many young children recognize the words on signs long before they learn to read because they see them over and over again as they walk or ride around town. Award-winning photographer Tana Holbin's brilliant color photographs of familiar signs bring written language alive for pre-readers. Let's get started. Come in, we're open. Look at these signs. Walk. Even though the sign tells us we can walk, it is still important for us to be careful when crossing the street and look both ways to see if cars are coming. When I see this sign, I know it is important because it is written in red capital letters. It says, don't walk. Always look for this sign when you are ready to cross the street. This sign tells us it is not safe to cross the street because cars may be coming. Playground. This sign says beware of dog. I know you're probably thinking, I love dogs and they love me. You might even have some of your own. Why would there be a sign that warns me to beware, which means be careful of dogs? Oh. That dog does not sound like my dog's. The sign must be telling me there is a dog around and I should stay away because I am a stranger to the dog. Remember, this is not your pet. Do not get close or try to pet the dog without asking the owner first. Excuse me, is your dog friendly? May I please pet your dog? Fire hose. <laughs> Did you hear that noise? What do you think it could be? Do you remember that sound from another book we read? Did you think of the book we read called Jamberry? 
You are right. We heard a train whistle in that story, too. The sign tells you to be careful because you are at a railroad crossing and you need to watch out for trains coming down the railroad track. Use your ears to listen for the train and your eyes to look for a train before crossing over the tracks. Danger! Keep out! I bet a lot of you know the sign. What is it? It's a stop sign, that's right! What do you do when you see this sign? You stop! Have you seen this sign in your neighborhood? Or driving in the car with your family? You know this sign is important because it is red just like the don't walk sign at the beginning of the book. Remember to stop and look both ways for cars before crossing the street or running in the street to get a ball or toy to make sure no cars are coming. This is an important sign called an exit sign. An exit sign tells us where there is a door or place to leave. It is important to know where the exit sign is in case of an emergency. Let's look more closely at the letters in the order of the letters E-X-I-T. That spells exit. Exit is always spelled with these four letters in this same order. Let's say it together this time. E-X-I-T. There are many different versions of an exit sign, but again, all have the same letters and letter order of E-X-I-T. Some of you may have seen the version shown on this page, and some of you may have seen versions like these out in your community. Which version have you seen? If you aren't sure, the next time you are out in your community, look around and see if you can find a sign with these same letters and letter order, an exit sign. The sign on this trash can says pitch in. Pitch in is another way of saying throw your garbage away here. There are different versions of this sign too, but they all mean the same thing, which is to throw away your garbage or trash in this container. It is so important to clean up after ourselves and put our trash in a trash can so that we can keep our planet Earth healthy, clean, and safe. <coughs> Caution, watch for children. What do you notice about this sign? What do you think it is telling us? Look at the picture clues. You're right, there's a bicycle. Bicycles are so much fun and a great way to exercise. This sign says bike route, and it is telling us that this is a bike route or path. When you see this sign, it is important to look out for bicyclers or people riding their bikes when using this path. If you see a bicycler coming down the path, move out of the way so they can go around you because they may not see you or have time to slow down. Bike routes are a fantastic place to ride your bike safely with an adult. Low flying plane. Sorry, we're closed. After reading this book, I hope you learned there are signs all around us telling us important information. We need to look for signs in our neighborhood, school, and really everywhere we go. Signs are important to help us stay safe, especially if they are red or flashing. We can't wait to hear about the signs that you see in your neighborhood and school. So, did you enjoy that book? I know I did, Danielle. Now, if you click next to the numbers 2 and 3, you will find more activities related to the book and the letter of the week. Parents and guardians, the ELC would love to see you and your children in action while playing to learn. Please send or upload your photos and or videos to social media by using these two hashtags. Hashtag ELC Manatee and hashtag learning from afar. Remember, literacy is easy as one, two, three.